I was uh, working out um, in the gym back in Huntsville, Alabama, and uh, this weight slammed, and I don't know why. Instinctively, I dropped to the ground. It was almost like a flashback. You hear rounds, rounds coming in. Every light in the gym was off. There was no, yelling no, and nobody was, was mad. I felt something nope, dripping. Nope. My right leg was Couldn't throbbing. See. My hand in front of my face. Of my face. I'm hit. It was a direct impact on me. Um, I should be dead. We are now in a place where we have veterans returning from the Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation New Dawn. These veterans have traumatic event experience. And we know enough about post-traumatic stress to know that a certain proportion of people who experience a traumatic event will go on to have post-traumatic stress disorder. There are certain experiences that I'll relive the rest of my life and I'll have to deal with and cope with. I feel like I'm a strong person. You know, I didn't feel like there was any mental problems. That's the last thing I want to think in my head. My mom actually was the first person to tell me Colin, something's different with you. With mental disorders, the difficulty is that it's how people behave, what they say, what they do. That seems like it's something that we should have control over. It's very hard to explain driving a car. You know, here I am on the interstate and I'm wanting to drive in the middle of the road. That's what our standard operating procedure is. The safest place is in the middle because you have IEDs on the outside. Most people wouldn't understand or fully relate to that. But to other veterans, they're like, I understand, I've done the same thing. I understand completely. There has been stigma attached to mental disorders, which has marginalized people with mental disorders and has kept them from getting proper treatment and proper attention. They don't want to admit that they have a problem. Inside, they are battling so many demons that they have no clue how to get rid of them. And they feel like a lot of people have forgotten about them. Last year, I had the opportunity to work on a film called Back in Time. We had two successful crowdfunding campaigns and the film rose to the top of the charts on IMDb. It was a fun film that brought a smile to the fans' faces. But this year, our topic is a little bit more serious. Post-traumatic stress disorder has become a buzzword. You hear about it, see it on TV, read about it, but most people don't know what it is. And more importantly, they don't know what it looks like. Earlier this year, I had the opportunity of going to the Middle East with Colin Wayne to spend some time with the troops. Colin is now known as a fitness icon and celebrity. However, he served in Iraq and Afghanistan and has dealt with PTSD himself. Now he talks to the troops about their experiences. The most common things that we heard are that veterans with PTSD don't seek treatment for two main reasons. They don't want their friends and family to think that they're crazy and they're scared they're not gonna be able to get a job. Those are two pillars for a successful life, personal and professional. That's why we need to tell this story, to give a face to the countless people with PTSD. That's why we're making this documentary and we need your help. Your contributions could help launch production to tell this story. We have a very talented team here who's very eager to get production going, so please donate what you can at any one of the reward levels. Beyond the awareness that we're building for PTSD, we're working with some awesome charities that will greatly benefit from your generosity. We appreciate your support and thank you for checking out the page. And don't forget to share the campaign on all your social media platforms using the campaign hashtag, treatment not judgment.